Thank you. 
Shall we praise the Lord? Shall we worship the Lord? Praise the Lord. We bless the Lord again. We praise the Lord. Oh, what singing. Oh, what shouting. On that happy morning when, when we are shall rise. Oh, what what's glory.
Hallelujah. 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 Daniel saw the storm rolling down to Babylon. Daniel saw the storm rolling down to Babylon. Daniel saw the storm rolling down to Babylon. Daniel saw the storm. Oh, Daniel saw the storm rolling. the congregation to stand with us. Bless the Lord. Jesus said, I am the resurrection and the life. He that believeth in me, though he were dead, yet shall he live. And whosoever liveth and believeth in me shall never die. I know that my Redeemer liveth, and that he shall stand at the latter day upon the earth, and I shall see God, whom I have seen, whom I shall see for myself. And mine eyes shall behold, and not another. We brought nothing into this world. And it is certain we can carry nothing out. The Lord gave, and the Lord hath taken away. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Amen. You may be seated. going to invite our moderator for this afternoon's worship service. That's how I'll call it. Host Pastor, Pastor Lowell Clark, as he leads us. Hallelujah, everyone. Praise the Lord. Come on, let me hear you. Praise the Lord. God has been good. Come on, praise the Lord. In spite of what we are going through, God is still a good God. Hallelujah. We are mourning, but God is still a good God. And Sister Vinet would want us to enjoy ourselves today. Praise the Lord. Giving God thanks for her. Hallelujah. Because you have done, praise the Lord, a great work in the presence of Almighty God. And I know God will not forget about her work. And I'm saying to the, the bereaved family right now to keep courage and to know that God is able and you have to put yourself in the place that when they come to, you will be okay. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. I just want to greet our Bishop Erskine. Praise the Lord. Our Bishop Wright, Deacon Martin, our Pastor Gillis. Praise the Lord. Our choir musician and all those that are in their respective places. I just want to greet you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. We are here in the thanksgiving service for our sister. Praise the Lord. And at this moment, we will stand to sing the song um, to open at this moment. Sing the one just love 
of Jesus. I'm gonna ask you to stand choir. The wonders love of Jesus sing his mercy. Divine God, Holy Spirit, you who lives and reigns forever and ever, blessed be your holy name. Here we are in your presence once more, Holy Father. We come to this Thanksgiving service, O oh God, to pay our last respect to our dear beloved sister. Help remind us, I pray thee, Heavenly Father, that she is gone. Help us to know that one day we will be going the same place that she is gone. Help us to prepare ourselves, O oh God, to meet you as Lord and Savior. Remind us, O oh God, that we are just frail. We are just weak. We are nothing before you. So great God Almighty, help us to seek you before um, time passes through eternity. I pray thee, Heavenly Father, that you will remind us, O oh God, that we are just a lump of clay. 
Remind us, O oh God, that without you, O oh God, we are just nothing. Remind us, I pray thee, Heavenly Father, that one day when you come to reap your own, if we are not safely secure in you, God, we will be cast into eternal domination. I pray thee, Heavenly Father, that your people will look to you, you who is our God, you, O oh God, who we look to, you who create the heaven and earth. Help us to look to you for that security when you shall come, when you shall burst the cloud asunder and reap your own. Help us, O oh God, that we will be safely secure in you. Bless us as we go forward, we pray. And remember, O oh God, the bereaving family. Console the heart, I pray. Help them to look to you, God Almighty. Oh, Sister Finnett, she's gone, but she was, if she wasn't gone, she would be right here singing praise unto you. So, oh God, I pray thee that the family will take a page out of her book and they will look to you continually. As we go forward in this program, God, I pray your direction and your protection while we wait upon you and give you the thanks in Jesus' name. Amen. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. First lesson will be taken from Ecclesiastic 3, 1 to 8, read by Daniel Shaw, granddaughter. Grand, yeah, grandson. Praise the Lord. Good morning, church. The Good morning. first lesson will be taken from E Classic 3, verse 1 to 8, and it reads, To everything there is a season and a time to every purpose under the heaven, a time to be born and a time to die, a time to plant and a time to pluck up that which is planted, a time to kill and a time to heal, a time to break down and a time to build up, a time to weep and a time to laugh, a time to mourn and a time to dance, a time to cast away stones and a time to gather stones together, a time to embrace and a time to refrain from embracing, a time to get, time to get and a time to lose, a time to keep and a time to cast away, a time to rend and a time to sue, a time to keep silence and a time to speak. Verse 8 and last. A time to love and a time to hate. A time for war and a time of peace. We are handed a portion of God's holy word. We honor by saying thanks be to God. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. We now have a tribute song by um, Chanel King, daughter, and followed by a poem, Norma Lawrence, friend, read by Ramona Wright. We may come in this order. Praise the Lord. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. I can take a song that's in make it all.
everybody. Hi, good morning, everybody. Good morning. Hi, so I'm Ramonia, and I'm representing um, Auntie Normal. Um, Auntie Normal is a really good friend of Auntie Dinette. Um, Auntie Normal would speak very highly of her, and based on my observation and based on my knowledge, she's just, she's more than a friend to her. I would say she's more like a family member to Auntie Vinette. She's known her for a very long time. She loves her very much. She does not live in Jamaica. She's very sad that she could not be here today, but she was with her just last year, but she's unable to make it today, and she's also not feeling well, okay? Um, she sent me a, a poem to read for her, and it's entitled, Goodbye, my friend, for now. Goodbye, my friend, for now. You were my sweetest friend, my guardian angel on earth. I could tell you anything. I loved you so long. It seemed from birth. From above, God could see your pain and how much you suffered. He decided to bring you home. His angels to bring you comfort. Never again will there be a lady quite like you, with his biggest heart, so true. I am so proud you called me your friend. Our friendship no one could undo. I know you are with your loved ones now, whom you've lost a long time ago. You will always live in my heart and will watch from above, this I know. So spread your wings and fly, my sweet. Your suffering has come to an end. I will see you once more with angel, sorry. I will see you once more when the angels come. My heart will miss you so much. You will never know the depth. I will feel for you with every wind that blows. I will think of you with every breath. So goodbye, my friend, just for now. I will see you in heaven. I will always think about you lovingly. And this is my confession. Goodbye, my friend, for now. Amen. Praise the Lord. Come on, praise the Lord. Hallelujah, hallelujah. We don't want to have any dead service here. Sister Bennett was lively. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Now we will have remembrance. We'll be coming from Lady MacLeod and Lady Gillis. Lady MacLeod, cousin, and Lady Gillis, followed by a selection from the New Mills Bible Way, Men Ministry, that is our Men Ministry, and Women Ministry, ours. Praise the Lord. You will come in this order. Praise his name. Good morning. Good morning. Bless the Lord. I'm free from the fears of tomorrow. I'm free from the guilt of my Monica Brown, Vinette, Church Muma, Osha Brown, Poon. There is no disappointment in heaven, no weariness, sorrow, or pain, no heart that are bleeding and broken, no song with a minor refrain. The clouds of our earthly horizon will never appear in the sky. For all will be sunshine and gladness with never a sob nor a sigh. 
The name of Carleen means womanly strength. The secret behind the name Carleen is? K is for keepsake, your treasure and memories. A is for able, she was surely able. R is for responsible, her understandable way. L is for little, the little things she did. E is for endear, the lives she touched. N is for nice, need we say more? E is for exquisite. Her name was her destiny, her heart's desire and personality. Vinet had the ability to persuade others with little or no effort. She was optimistic, outgoing, and inspiring. She was charming and cheerful. And the life of any event that she was invited to, she would kindle a warmth and fire in others. There was not a dull moment when she is around. Deep in my heart, her memories are kept, never to forget. I remember her as a dear cousin, punctual, generous, industrious, faithful, determined, fearless, and hospitable. There are some of these are some of the attributes ascribed to her. She was unique. She took pleasure in carrying out assigned chores, going above and beyond. She took pride in serving everyone she came in contact with, irrespective of their caliber. Sister Brown, Sister Brown was a church and community member. She is remembered as an active person in the church and community. She was popular in church services, concerts, grave digging, funerals, working on the building. She was never missing and would not be seen sitting around or standing. She was up and about, working tirelessly, serving, cleaning up after others. On a day like this, Vinette, she would be seen serving and giving out programs. What was so amazing about this, she would not be afraid to participate in this exercise at any funeral she attends. That means a church in and around the community. A most remarkable thing about her, she was never late, and this she know, and though she know, could depend on her to serve a program, especially if they are limited. Sister, Sister Vinette was the matriarch of her family and the church, a devoted and stalwart in the church and community. She served passionate and gracefully, an overcomer. She stayed in the fight until the final round. We look at her as Rebecca, her true beauty was within. Rhea, believe in the power of God. Ruth, walk the extra mile. Esther, bold and courageous. Elizabeth, never doubt what God can do. Lydia, a heart big enough to help. Hannah, never ceased to pray. Dorcas, use her talent to put a smile on the face of others. These are a few of her songs she would sing before giving her testimony on Sabbaths. Don't let me leave behind an unfinished task. I am free. I am so glad that my Father in heaven, I'm so glad Jesus loves me. To the family, we encourage you, Joshua 1 verse 9, have I not command you to be strong and of good courage? Do not be afraid, nor be dismayed, for the Lord your God will be with you wherever you go. May the light of God surround you. May the power of God protect you. 
May the presence of God watch over you. We, we believe, believe she is peacefully resting, awaiting the sound of the last trump on the great getting up morning. May her soul rest in peace and light perpetual shines upon her. And I would not leave before I give her this joke that Philip said when Uncle Noel died. She was the first one to reach the church. She helped to open the church. And when the family song was singing, Finette started to bawl. So nobody knew why she was crying. After the funeral, we said to her, Finette, when do you make a bawl after me know the song? So, <laughs> so while those who know it singing, she bawled. God bless you. God bless you all. Shall we praise the Lord? Shall we magnify the Lord? Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Praise God, praise God, praise God. You bring me in the storm.
Let's praise the Lord. Let's praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Our sister Vinette is not here with us anymore. But they are here to remind somebody that the best is yet to come. Hallelujah. 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 One of these days we'll be able to to say to death, where is thy sting? I will be able to say to the grave, where is thy victory? If we live, only live the life of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. 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 I am happy today as I travel through this Blessed by God, and I'm holding to His hands. The journey is almost over, and the battle is nearly won. But I have a feeling in my heart. The best is yet to come. The best is yet to come. When I walk to the best gate, first time I see Jesus, I cannot be with. He showed me to my mind, and said, This is your home. I have a feeling in my heart. The best is yet to come. Chilling times, the storms of life are raging, but I'm happy down inside. I see the life of coming to take me, take me home. But I have a feeling in my heart that this is the end. This is the end to come when I walk to a best game. First time I see Jesus. I can only wait. He showed me to my mansion. I said, This is your home. But I have a feeling in my heart. The best is yet to go. I said, The best is yet to go. When I walk to heaven's gate, the first time I see Jesus. 
praise the Lord. Hallelujah. No more mourning, no more pain, no more dying, no more sickness. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. We will be saved forevermore. Praise the Lord. At this moment, our island overseer, Apostle Leroy Ricketts, will come and bring greetings in the name of the Lord Jesus. Shall we honor the Lord? Shall we honor the Lord? To God be the glory. Great things he continues to do in the lives of his people. I would like to submit to us this very afternoon that death is not final. As a result of that, we see where John, he writes to the churches according to Revelation chapter 14 and verse 13. It says, blessed are the dead that dies in the Lord from henceforth that they may rest from their labor and their work do follow them. Death is just what we call a trouble heart. You're traveling and you need a rest break, a bathroom break, a snack break. You take a pause from your journey. Sister Vinette, she has taken a pause. Hence, death is not final. Amen. And this is indeed the believer's hope that one day, whether we sleep or we are awake, when we hear that sound, then we will go to meet our maker. I would like to, on behalf of the National Executive Board of the Holy Church of the Living God, my immediate family to extend our deepest condolences and the, to the bereaved family, Sister Vinette's family. We are connected somehow and I want you to understand that we are praying for you. No one wants to die. No one wants to lose a loved one. But this is indeed the reality. Death we cannot escape. God knows everything best. But one thing I would like to assure you, try your best to live the life that God wants. That when he comes, then we will have a hope to meet Sister Vinette if she lives the life that pleased the Lord. God bless you in Jesus' name. I believe in at the sound of the trumpet. I believe in at the sound of the trumpet. For when the trumpet turns up, and the dead shall rise, I believe in at the sound of the trumpet. I believe in at the sound of the trumpet.
Lord of high praise. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. It is good to be alive, don't it? Because in the grave there is no remembrance of him. Praise the Lord. He is a good God. We have some tributes at this moment. Praise the Lord. Coming from one coming from the Usher board, Sister Chris. Praise the Lord, Mr. Dave Brown, our MP. We've got Gregory Rowe, but it will be read by Charlene Edwards. Praise the Lord, Mr. Nathaniel, Nathaniel Hutchinson, family friend. You will come in this order. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Let's praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Let's praise the Lord. Praise his name. On behalf of the Usher's board. On behalf of the Usher's board of the Haddington House of God, I extend condolences to the children, grandchildren, family members, community members, church family of Sister Vinette. Your life was a blessing your memory a treasure. You are loved beyond words and missed beyond measures. Tribute to the life of a dear friend, mother, daughter, sister, aunt, cousin, niece, and grandmother, Carlene Brown, AKA Vinette, church mama. How do we begin to say goodbye? It was just yesterday that you were here singing, chatting, laughing, dancing, and eating with us. How could death have come and steal you away? We know you were hurting and couldn't bear the pain. God saw you were tired and relieved you of your pain. We were not ready to let you go, but we couldn't make you stay. We couldn't hold you here any longer. Vinette, my friend. I have so many fond memories of her that I will forever cherish and keep close to my heart. She was always there for me with hugs, kisses, encouraging words, tears, and even jokes. She was reliable, dependable, and hardworking. She was always willing and ready to assist me in any way with a smile on her face, sometimes even volunteering her time to carry out a task. I am going to miss her check up on me calls, her texts, and voice messages. I keep listening to some of her voice messages just to hear her voice again. Every morning after my devotion, I still send her my devotional text and is waiting for her amen, response, or a good morning word. Vinette was a giver. She was always sharing and giving whatever she had, especially food. We will forever cherish that blessed Sabbath, a young man from the community came to worship with us, as he always does. He was served lunch by Sister Vinette. Somehow, he wanted more bread, so he yelled out, Vinette, me want more bread. We all burst out laughing. From that day, persons can often be heard calling Sister Vinette and using the same phrase, Vinette, me want more bread, before telling her what they really wanted from her. She would burst out laughing and fulfill their request. Vinette, the usher. Vinette went above and beyond her duty as an usher here at church with a smile so bright that lightens any mood. When it was time for church to be cleaned, she would be here doing it joyfully. Even if no one else came, she did it alone without complaints. Whenever there was an early morning function at church, be it morning prayer, baptism, or working at church, Vinette only wanted to know that you said you were coming. You would be on her call list. As soon as she was up, she would start working her phone, calling all of us and sending wake up message to for us to start working here in the church WhatsApp group, for us to know it was time to go. As if that was not enough, every house that she passed on her way, she would stop and call or shout out your name from a moving vehicle for us to get up. She would be the first one to arrive at church for any function. She was dedicated to the church and the work she did here that we called her church mama because she was always making sure everything was ready and working for the event ahead. She worked tirelessly at church functions, funerals, even going down to the road to collect from whoever was there. She was a willing worker. 
She was awarded in a sermon in 2017 by the YPU group for the exemplary work that she was doing. We are now not scattering roses after she's gone. She knows exactly how much we loved and appreciated her and the job she was doing. Vinette, the joker. There was never a dull moment with Sister Vinette around. She would always be saying or doing things to make you laugh, no matter the mood you were in. If you know Sister Vinette as well as we do, then you know the type of joke and antics that Church Mama would be doing. Church Mama would be sitting or standing at the back over there, and she would call out your name. And then when you answer, she say, me love you, and blow kisses at you. When you went to her, she would throw her arms around you and hug you and kiss you again and then told you why she called you. Church Mama was dependable and reliable. We didn't have to worry because when Church Mama, with Church Mama, everything was under control. On Sabbaths, she would make sure everything was in place from the preparation of the bathroom to the congregants in the congregation, even if it meant just placing a bottle of water at your seat or a cushion. She could be heard doing praise and worship, singing songs after songs that would bless our hearts and prepare us for divine worship. At funerals in the cemetery, we could depend on her to come with our list of courses to keep us singing and playing the tambourine. Vinette girl, you are gone, but your precious memories will live on with us for a very long time. You are greatly missed. Life is a beauty, she admired it. Life is a dream, she realized it. Life is a challenge, she met it. Life is a duty, she completed it. Life is a game, she won it. Life is a promise, she fulfilled it. She fulfilled it. Life is sorrow, she overcame it. Life is a song, she sang it. Life is a struggle, she overcame it. Life is a tragedy, she confronted it. Life was an adventure, she dared it. Sleep well, my friend. We lost you down here, but Evan gave an angel. I thank you. I should be able to speak from here since I'm sitting. All right, um, officiating ministers, Pastor Clark and Guinness, Bishop Erskine, Deacon Martin, Mrs. Miles Campbell, Chester Castle um, caretaker, I think she's somewhere in, the, in attendance. But, um, Ladies, gentlemen, children, good afternoon. I will try to be as brief as possible. You know, it's not easy speaking about Vinette, eh? Well, let me say on behalf of the constituency of Hanover Eastern, I express my condolence to the bereaved family and the extended family, also the church family. Vinette. Well, I guess the crowd inside and outside amplifies the person who Vinette really was. But to me, Vinette, Vinette kept me on my feet. You know, I remember when I started the journey back then in 2016, Vinette was the person who would have called me from time to time to let me know there was no water in New Mills. The drain want to clean down by wherever. Whatever needs to be done, Vinet was the person who constantly informed me what is needed to be done. And sometimes I wonder if Vinet was one of the political workers. But, you know, over time I understand that she wasn't, but she just cared for the community. Um, you know, Vinet is one of those persons who reach out to me on WhatsApp. We have a friendship, a WhatsApp friendship. That morning and afternoon and whatever is happening politically or otherwise, Bennett would have been that person 
Bennett, sorry about that. Bennett would have been that person to reach out to me. I feel real bad. To be honest with you, Bennett was sharing her illness with me. And a um, few weeks before, or a few days before Bennett passed, she sent me a message, asked me to come and look in her face. I was at church at, um, I think there's New Year's Bible Way Church, and it was um, New Year's Day. I went to church with the intention to go and see Vinet, but the, boy, the service was so good that it went way into the evening. And I said, I'll go back to see Vinet. You know, I didn't get the chance to see Vinet, but I guess you understand because I spoke to her regularly from time to time on the phone. Um, family members, church members, community members, be comforted by the fact that Vinet did her time. She did it to the best, and let's hope that it is good enough to take her to that place. You all know where I'm talking. Um, we just have to take a page from Vinet, Vinet's book. She lived an exemplary life, and may her soul rest in peace, and life properly shine upon her. Good morning, everyone. Good afternoon. I will be doing the tribute from Gregory Rowe. Roy, unfortunately, Gregory is not in the island, and I'll be reading his letter that he wrote. Life is an uphill climb, and the terrain can be rugged. As a strong woman, you put up a good fight. You spent the past few months finding the inner strength as you lean onto God's wisdom that often materialized through the support of your family, friends, and your lovely children. In 2014, on a bright Sunday evening, I accompanied your daughter, Julian, home for the first time. I remember her calling out to you before she reached the stairs. Upon hearing her voice, you came out your room with one of the most contagious smiles. So I did not wait to be introduced. I introduced myself as your son-in-law. Your exact words were, I want you to talk to me, so. <laughs> like how you know me from a long time. So this, to this, we both chuckled, then sat for a great conversation. Since that day, you have been like a mother to whom I've received with a blessing from above. With a broken heart, I now say thank you, Mom, for all that you have done. As life changed on my side, you encouraged me to come home. I was welcomed to your dwelling with open arms. But not only did you welcome me, but you also, but you also welcomed my two children. I watched you earnestly take care of Nathan, your grandson, who you had promised to take care of from a tender age. You nourished and cherished him even right up to the last days. You are the grandmother he knows, loves, and adores. So I know he might be young to understand that you are no longer here, but we will share all these great memories with him as he gets older. You fought a good fight mother, but the, Alm the Almighty knows best. I am still crushed by your untimely exit, but I am happy we had a good time together. 
those early morning gospel music and the laughter was just amazing. And you could never be, we could never be late for work. As soon as the time came around, you would remind us, at 12 o'clock now, you know. It pains my heart that I was not even there to hold your hand as you closed your eyes and said goodbye. Sleep on, Mom. Sleep and take your rest. When the trumpet of God shall, shall sound, the dead in Christ shall rise first. I am more than confident that you would be up first to meet your Lord and Savior. Walk good, Mom. Your son-in-law, Gregory. Or Jensen. <laughs> yeah, good man. Before I touch, I would like to just make mention a few little things that affect us greatly in and around us. I can only say at this moment that the ministers, the pastors, have some hard work to do. They have to double, triple the time that they spend. There are too many people when you walk around in their communities who cannot take him one day out to go out to worship God. And it is really not a joke. Amen. When we hear about the earthquake in Turkey and whatever the other day, how many thousand people die in the twinkling of an eye, in the early morning, when everybody was asleep, mostly, not yet to them work. And if you now go to bed with say your prayers and grace, know that you're out. Members of the clergy, moderator, musician, church family, bereaved family, visiting friends, representative of the martinary. I would now say to you, I greet you all in Jesus' precious name. Now tell me who. We are here today on an occasion, and the occasion that brought us here is death. And all the people that you see here are going to die one day. Whether night or day, I don't know, but I know we're surely going to pass. So we shouldn't take this for granted. We are here to represent a cause. Vinet is one of the prize of our community. I can't tell you everywhere she works or everything that she does. But one thing get me right, from a very early stage, she find herself in the congregation of worshiping. Amen. And when you worship, there is no other place you can find benefit than in true worshiping. Amen. So even if I tell you the amount of good things that 
Vinet did in our lifetime. Yes, that is true. But I think worshiping has comprehend everything that she does in life. And that was paramount because she started at a very early age and grew up into the administration. So let's not cry, now we having it. But one day we can go to, somebody might have to cry for us, I don't know, maybe if you go to church. <laughs> so we don't want to labor the whole evening on Vinet because I tell you what is good and no matter how much more we don't tell you one good cover hard, two good Amen. right when I look around the audience he says something even about Vinet that what she stand for. Because you don't even have to call anybody to measure them score to catch five inches from any. Everybody come attire properly. Amen. And in that sense, it is a true meaning of who you are when you was alive. If you travel the world around, you will notice that people read all kind of comics, Bible, everything, and it newspaper, everything people read them. But the only true one that bring good knowledge and uh, consension to the soul is the Bible. So we should all pay some good attention to the Bible. Read your Bible night and day. Genesis is the first one. Read it with care. God spoken and it was heard. If uh, Exodus is second, you know. Lady Ticos the third. Going number four. Deuteronomy five. The fight for Joshua command the 25th chapter, but the book of Psalm will tell you more. Right. The prophet Isaiah said we should learn them. Learn them and keep them in our mind. When I go to funeral service, I always give two parts. But if the audience behave like how oh, this one behave, I will give them the third part. <laughs> I merely rise here to make mention. We thank you all for your kind attention. And I fit in our intention to put a ear a weak pretension. We are only asking you together with your condescension that when you speak of this convention, he will say it's a nice convention for the people's simple comprehension. And to complete without contention, it is not a long conversation. So please excuse the gross dissension God bless you all. Amen. Praise the Lord. Whether we come morning and noon, whether we come sunshine, I want to be ready.
in, in the light. Praise the Lord. I'm saying to somebody today, you have to walk in the light. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. The second lesson will be coming from Psalms 46, 1 to 11. Read by Tashon, Tashon, Wood, and Shanaya, Shayona, Pama. Shan, Pama. Nice. Shahan. Okay. Amen. Praise the Lord. Good afternoon, everyone. Our second lesson comes from Psalms 46, reading from verse 1 to the end. God is our refuge and strength, a very present help in trouble. Therefore, will not we fear, though the earth be removed, and though the mountains be carried into the midst of the sea, though the waters thereof roar, and be troubled, though the mountains shake with the swelling thereof. There is a river, the streams whereof shall make glad the city of God, the holy place of the tabernacles of the Most High. God is in the midst of her, she shall not be moved. God shall help her, and that right early. The heathen raged, the kingdoms were moved. He uttered his voice, the earth melted. The Lord of hosts is with us, the God of Jacob is our refuge. Come. Behold the works of the Lord, what desolation he hath made in the earth. He maketh wars to cease unto the end of the earth. He breaketh the bow, and cutteth the spear in sunder. He burneth the chariot in fire. Be still, and know that I am God. I will, ex I will be exalted among the heathen. I will be exalted in the earth. The, the Lord of hosts is with us. The God of Jacob is our refuge. The word of the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. The song from family members. Praise the Lord. Good afternoon, everyone. I would be remiss if I did not take this opportunity to express thanks to all of the church family for your kind and loving support that you gave to my sister. There are people all over the world who are praying for her. There are people right now in Canada and the United States who are watching this program. The last time I spoke to her was the Sabbath before she passed. And when I called her phone, she did not answer. So I called her daughter, Chanel. No, not Chanel. Jude, Trudy. And she answered her phone and she took the phone to her. But I could hear the groaning of pain in the distance. And after I finished talking to her, I was so heartbroken and I prayed to God and I said, God, do something. And so what God did was to relieve her from that pain. Yes, we missed her. She was the life of the party. But we know that someday soon we shall see her.
As we think about heaven, there's coming a day if we are faithful, we'll be there. And so, as our loved one passed, we hear various things said about heaven. What I call heaven, hope. Okay, gentlemen, if you can get it, I believe God has blessed me with a voice that I could sing. Somewhere beyond the grave, there is a land where Jesus went to prepare by his own hand. And for the saved by grace, there is a resting place. And in a few more days, it will be mine. Some call it heaven, I call it home. Let me 
dream on Some call it paradise Somewhere beyond the skies Some call it heaven I call it home Someone said you can't go Back home again Things will not ever be as good as before I've got good news for you When heaven comes into view One glimpse and you know the best Is yet to come dream of some call it paradise somewhere beyond the skies some call it heaven I call it home Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Wonderful singing. Mr. Miguel. Praise the Lord. We have some selection. Carol. Carol Nelson. We are from the Lucy Seventh day Church of God. Followed by Condolence from Bishop Wright. Praise the Lord. We may come in this order. Carol here, Carol and Nelson. Shall we bless the Lord? Lord? Shall we bless the Lord? Lord. Alright, um, I heard some persons were saying that it's not a dull moment with Miss Bennett. You know, I've um, known Trudy and, and Denisha, they're my co-workers, and I've known them. And so because of them, then I know um, Miss Bennett. She's a very jovial person. Hearing of her death, you know, she was in so many pain. Sometimes when I called her, oh my God, she was in so many pain. But you know, God sees it fit. And she's now home. All right, my voice is not so well at this time. I'm coughing. So if I stop in between of the middle of the song, then my daughter will take over. In the dark of the midnight, as I ought in my face, while the storm holds above me, and there is no
Good afternoon. Afternoon to the ministers and members, friends. Condolence to the Sister Bennett family from the Church of God, Sabbath keeping, Lucy Hanover. I am here today with a mixed feeling, sad. I have known Sister Vinette about three years or more. But we get so close, very, very close. She was a darling of my heart. Sister Vinette was just everything. You could call Sister Vinette, and Sister Vinette would be there for me, no matter what. You know, when Sister Vinette took sick, and she called me, Sister Vinette called me my missionary. And anywhere you hear, my missionary. And I said, how oh, you so like this? She said, my missionary, I am not feeling well. I said, okay, let's pray. And I pray for her. And when I finish, she said, thank you. I said, rest now. Don't do much talking. You know, in December, I was in Florida, and Sister Vinette called. And I said, what happened? She said, me missionary, me feel good, you know? You know I feel good? I said, thank God, darling. Then how is my pastor? I said, he's not that well, you know? And we were there talking. And she said to me, okay, me kiss and come, because we want for soon. So me kiss and come. I am here waiting for you. And when I get the news, you don't understand. Sister Vinette was like, I could call. She was so kind. She was so passionate. She was so loving. She was so gentle. And I'm asking the family just to take one page out of Sister Vinette's book. Just walk the walk like Sister Vinette. Talk the talk like Sister Vinette. She was a God-fearing woman. No matter what, she would just say, me I come, me come. Although Sister Vinette was not a member of our church, but it's like we could pray together. We talk together. We sing together. A loving soul. She had fought a good fight. She had finished her course. Henceforth is laid up for her a crown of righteousness. Each and every one of us put our foot in Sister Vinay's foot. Family member, be of good courage. God is there for you, Mama. God will take you through. I cannot tell you not to weep, you know. Weep. 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 God knows best. She's eased from all her pain. God bless you. What a day that will be when my Jesus I shall see and I look upon his face the one who saved me by his grace when he takes me by the hand and lead me through the promised land what
sometimes ago that is only one type of news is good and the type of news that is good is no news anytime you listen to news bad news with your whatsapp group when you hear and when you see the picture of Vinet you know bad news is on WhatsApp. But I want to say this today. Vinet was a true example of a good church member. And we cannot say that about a lot of church members. But I personally can say that about Vinet. She was a good person. She was a sample. And I, 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 I feel it for the family members. You can see? Keep strong. Miguel, keep strong. Relative, keep strong. And church, keep strong. I want you to understand the songwriter says, Tears is an answer that God understands. So even if you cannot speak, tears come down here. God is reading that tear. And I'm so glad that he understands. Because if he didn't understand, I don't know what would happen to some of us. 
And I want you all to take a page from her book. And you know, plenty page in there. And book have several pages. And I want us that are here to take a good page. But I tell you something, I cannot leave, I cannot leave out of this place without I tell you about something. And what I will tell you about is about Bennett. But She's another child of God. She's another child of God. She's another child of God. John o. When the choir begins to sing, and the church bell begins to ring. She's another child of God gone home. She's another child of God. Oh, she's another child of God. She's another child of God gone home when the choir begins to sing yeah the church bell begins to ring oh she's another child of God it is for all of us to decide when we go what they will sing about. If they will sing about another child of God or another child of Satan. We don't want any more crusade again. Funeral is more crusade than crusade. Every time we come to the funeral and I just want you to comfort yourself family members Comfort yourself knowing that it's not finished. More leave to come. God bless you. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Praise the Lord at this moment. We gather the offerings. I'm going to ask the choir to sing at this moment while the ushers gather the offering. You can sing too because it is in the book, so okay, see. a country where no twilight shadows even on ending day the night where night will never be it's a city
Lord, praise the Lord. Let's praise the Lord at this moment. We have some open tribute. But um, the Russell, and I ask the Russell family, um, followed by our detective, Corporal, we call the clock. We'll come and bring greetings. So the Russell family will come. And then after Detective Corporal we'll call the clock will come. Bless the Lord. For many long years I traveled last pathway, sharing his joy and sorrow and pain. I've only a little longer in this dark valley to roam. All of my friends and loved ones are waiting, singing a wonderful happy refrain. It's just about time for me to lay down my cross and go home. It's just about time. church because it is a sad occasion. I love when I come to church. It's about praising God. Let me greet the officials here and the rest of them and to us all here. You can, do, you can prepare for everything when you are going to cook. So you put the things together. But when you're going to die, you will not know the exact time. But I'll say to you today, I've never seen someone prepared to leave this world like Vinet did. 
I've never, I have never seen anyone prepared like she was. I was in a class teaching and I saw my phone light up and then I look, I saw that it was Vinet calling. I asked my student, I said, just give me a, a chance here. I answered the phone and she said, my brother, I don't think I can do it no longer. And I broke down. And then I, I said to her, Mr. Vinet, are your documents still? And she said, my brother, may I check them off, you know? <laughs> if you know Vinet, she said, may I check them off, you know? And I started smiling, and the trainees that I was standing in, in front of said, Sir, how oh, your sad face looks so light up all of a sudden. And I said, when I finish, I'll tell you. But the conversation with her was saying that, my brother, me not going to do it no longer. Me not going to take the pain. And remember me for the happy times. And I said, yes, Vinet, I like that. But I say to us today that things will happen in our lives. And you will recognize that there are things that you can't do. Hand them over to God. And as I give this tribute today to the family members, always be ready. Always be ready. When death comes, I don't think death came knocking at her. She was waiting because she was ready. And I say to us today, whatever happened in the past happened. And it is called the past. Whatever you have now is a gift. And that is why they call it the present. Now if God gives you the present, appreciate it because you don't know what lies ahead of you tomorrow. My son asked me last night, Daddy, where did sin come from? And it's funny he asked me that. And I said, I said, son, it came from the law. Because if there weren't rules, we wouldn't be breaking them. But God sent his son, which is that advocate. So it is automatic that we're going to break the law. But we already have someone who has paid the price. Let us not continue to break the law. As God would have it, when it is gone, let us get our documents ready. Let us not be getting ready, but let us be ready. Thank you very much. Shall we bless the Lord? Shall we bless the Lord? Today it affords me a great privilege to be here. Well, let me say it. I thank God for life, right? But I had to be here today. I was at work and in the midweek I got a message from Miss Vinnett. And the message states, if I die before you, sing over me. And I laughed. You say what is? And the same week, she died. And I said, look, whether high or low, I have to be at that funeral. On behalf of the Golden Melody Band, I'd like to give condolences to the family at this time, I know it's not easy, but God knows best. If I carry the gospel to the lost, 
near and far. I won't stand empty handed at God's judgment bar. But I dare not relax till I've done all I ask. Don't let me These words I ought to hear my Savior say. And all my life on earth is past. Oh, there's one thing, Lord, I ask. Don't let me If I have wronged my brother, if I have wounded a friend, give me courage, precious Lord, to make a bet. And when I come to change my word, and I see glory at last, then I won't leave behind and on this day. You have run, you have run the race, you have gained everything. These words are yours. My Savior sees, and when my life on earth is past, Lord, there's one thing oh I ask: don't let me leave behind and on this day. These words I long to hear my Savior say. And when my life on hurt is past, Lord, there's one thing, oh, I can ask God that question today? How many of us can ask God that question today? And when my life on earth is past, there is one thing, Lord, I ask, don't let me leave. Thanks. We have come to this part when we will hear from Almighty God. You will sit in where we are. It's God to speak to me. To God, God to speak to you today. Praise the Lord. And we have our Bishop Antonio Herskin. He's the Bishop of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter day Saints. The Bishop of the Church of Jesus Christ the Bishop of the District. Superintendent of the Lower. And, and Eastern, Eastern St. James, 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 James,
and uh, he's going to speak to you today, today. And, and I know that God and God are going to give him to give to, to give us. To us today. But before he comes, we have our choir. They will minister unto us, and then the next verse we'll hear is the verse of our Bishop Antony Erskine. God bless you in Jesus' name. We bless the Lord. We bless the Lord. Bless the name of Jesus. For my sister from another mother. I mean, Vinet would tell me everything. Vinet would sit with me and set her program. Bless the name of Jesus. But through it all, when we cry here on earth, there'll be no tears in heaven. Hallelujah. This whole life is filled with sorrows. And tears that flows But when we reach there
I will reach that city If we only live holy If we only live holy Right down below When I read my Bible You know what? It tells me so You know what it tells me, church? share the platform, member of parliament, Sir Dave Brown, a man of might, and if you know what that means, you know, pick up yourself, sir. That's right. Um, but most importantly to the bereaved family and friends, I greet you well, and on behalf of the Lower St. James Eastern Hanover District of Churches, and myself, I want to just express my condolences. Uh, Vinette served the church as an usher, and by extension, she would not only be serving this immediate congregation, but she served the church within the context of the district, and she served nationally also. I have listened to many comments about Vinette, and while we Many of us would experience her in similar fashion. V Vinette was also unique to us on an individual basis. And whenever I came to this congregation, Vinette was the one who told me how much offering to drop. <laughs> you don't know, but once she shake my hand there, she whispered telling me how much she coming for on the pulpit. And if I shot it, she's going to remind me about it. She was a good friend. Uh, and I visited her a number of times while she was not well. And I remember the last time I visited her and she was in serious pain. It was uncomfortable. It, 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 was, a, it was an uncomfortable experience. And she 
she shared with me. It's, it's amazing how while going through that, she tried to put forward her best. And I, on that last visit, I told her I would consult a doctor friend of mine who may be able to prescribe something that could help her with the pain. And when, shortly after that, she went back to the hospital and she, when I queried, she said, she sent a message. She said, you know, don't bother with the pain medicine. And when she said that, I knew why. Because she realized that there isn't much more that could be done. And so I echo the sentiments of Ricardo when, she, when he said that she knew and she planned well. And a large section of what you're seeing today, it is a vignette planning. She was like that. And so today, as I share with you in her memory, I pray that you will reflect and that you will reflect on the good times. And we all know Vinette wasn't perfect because she could have miserable sometime, you know. You know yeah, and when Vinette misery turn up and nothing nice. Yeah. But given all of that, she was sweet. And so we choose to remember that dimension of her today. And I choose to remember her as that person. Being an, an usher means that Vinette was kind. It means that she was humble. It means that she enjoyed serving others. It means that she was not thinking of herself more highly than she ought to. And, and those are dimensions of someone that I believe that we ought to emulate. Amen. That we ought to celebrate her from that perspective today. To always remember her smile, to always remember her humility, to always remember her aptitude to serve and to listen and to follow and to contribute according to her capacities. Those are things that I choose to remember about the night today. And though I am saddened, as you are family and friends, I rejoice having had that experience of her. I rejoice having known her in that dimension. I rejoice having her and, and though she used to tell me how much offering to pay without regard for my pocket, I still wish today that she was here to whisper in my ears, pay a thousand dollar to the bishop. I miss her. I miss her smile. I miss meeting her in town and she pulled me one side and talked me till me tired. I miss her. I miss her dancing. Oh, right down there, sitting at the corner. When it's sweet, or she come up. And when the choir, they struggle with a the chorus, they have to call upon me. I've been to many funerals and she was the life at that graveside. So when I go down there, you know, no bad at daddy, daddy up the thing, you know. <laughs> Don't. And so I eulogize her in that context. And I celebrate, I celebrate who she is, who she was. And I pray that you will do the same. It is prudent of me to leave a little bit of words with you from the scriptures. If I should title my very short sermon today, it will be, We Have Hope. We have hope. 1 Corinthians 15 verse 19 says it well. If in this life only we have hope in Christ, we are of all men most miserable and you wonder why you will oftentimes see a very troubled world a very troubled set of people people who seemingly cannot be satisfied people who seemingly are struggling with what is in reality a very difficult time to live in we can be honest there it's not easy to live in this world and if you contextualize it to Jamaica, 
Jamaica only, it is in many ways extremely difficult to survive. But given all that we face in this life, we still have hope. And the, and the thing about this hope, it is, it is not hope in our own abilities because if that were the case, only the rich would have hope, only the very talented would have hope, only the very affluent would have hope. But this hope comes from that which is deeper than our own abilities. And I find it strange, church, that we trust in our own abilities all the time except when we come into difficulties. Amen. Amen. So even the very ungodly will not give God credit, but when there is an earthquake, pray for me. When there is sickness, pray for me. But the beauty about God is that in that moment, he is not like man. Because if God went but mine like some are we. If God was as revengeful as some of us, those prayers would not pass the ceiling of your three-story house. But he is a just God. And so, in a troubled world, church, in a world of sickness, in a world of cancer, in a world of nothingness, we have hope in Christ. Amen. Amen. Praise and, and, and people struggle with understanding this. They, they don't understand what I call the psychology of worshipping Christ. And they, they question it because it does not align with their idea of logic. It doesn't I align with, with the reality of their experiences most times. But I have come to understand that when all around me gives way, only Christ is my hope and stay. So I have hope. I have hope that if Vinet lived right, and if I live right, there is coming a day when we shall see each other again. And no man on earth can take that hope from me. I have hope, church, that though weeping may endure for a night, church, if we but serve God, joy will come at another time. Can I get a witness in the church? So we have hope, church, that even though we exist in difficulties, even though we are struggling to make ends meet, you do one of the things I want to share with people, and people don't get this, they only see Christ in the spiritual and the supernatural. But how many all know that God is a practical God? Come on now, church of God. I don't know about you, but God woke me up this morning. Hallelujah, Jesus. I don't know about you, but he is my provider. He is my deliverer. He is my way maker. Oh, God have mercy. He is a God who is able to keep you in this life. So when one writer in the scripture says some trust in chariots and, and some trust in horses uh, but here with somebody there is something different and unique can I get a witness about the man who trusts God and so we've got to understand uh, that when I serve God my hope is not just uh, that I will live again but my hope is that he will provide for me now hallelujah my hope is that he will not just in the supernatural and so when you when you serve God your hope is amplified because he speaks to a dimension that no man can speak to and that is the spiritual dimension of who you are so when we serve God we cannot be like those who have no hope one of the worst thing of a Christian the girl I'm like nothing now go on for them even when nothing now go on for them And some folks will quite correctly say, well, if you are going on like that, uh, what you leave me is sin of you. Ah, uh, but when you, when you walk in hope, you know that you will be struggling now, but if you hold on to God, hallelujah, Jesus. So we have hope. First John 3, 2-3. 
two. I promise you I won't be very long. Beloved, now are we the sons of God and it does not yet appear what we shall be. But guess what, church of God? We know, we know, how many all in here know that when he shall appear, we shall be like him. For we shall see him as he is. But watch, watch verse 3. And every man that hath this hope in him purifieth himself even as he is pure. Somebody lift your hands and say, make me pure, God. Watch this, watch this. Why must you be pure? For only the pure in heart can see God. Oh, God have mercy. So hear me, church of God. One mind cannot see God. Wicked heart cannot see God. Oh, God have mercy. But when you are pure in heart, hallelujah, when you have a clean heart, God. Look at your neighbor, say, neighbor, have hope. Yes, even, even if you're not baptized, you have hope. Because God is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him. Can I get a witness in the church? So even if you're not saved, you have hope. Hallelujah. Even if you're struggling, you have hope. Because when man looks on the outward, can I get a witness? We serve a God who is searching the intents of your heart. So some are judging you by what you wear. Some are judging you by how you look. Some are judging you by what you drive. Some are judging you by where you live. But hear me somebody, I serve a God who examines the intents of my heart. So hear me somebody, Oh, <laughs> 
watch this. Here's the beauty. Here's the caveat. Here's a little thing about it. Watch Psalm 91. That brings another dimension to us. It says because he had set his love upon me. Come on now. Now this love is not like the boyfriend and girlfriend stuff for the one. And somebody love between husband and wife where they fight and live like puss and dog and not now one. Uh, but when Christ has set his love upon me, watch this. Therefore will I deliver thee. Now what does that mean for you in practical terms? Because sometimes we preach scripture and it's so nice and it's so good for shout it out. But what does it mean that if he loves us? Can I go a little bit and watch what the word says? The word says if my people who are called by my name will humble themselves, come on now, pray, seek my face and turn, then I will hear and heal. And watch this, he also says, he said, said come unto me all ye that what? Labor and are heavy laden and I will give you what? Rest. Come on now church God. He also says seek ye first uh, the kingdom of God and all his righteousness and then he will add all things unto you. The problem is that a lot of us when we hear those scriptures we think materialistic. We think house. We think car. Because society has told us that the only definition of success is what you have and not who you are. Come on now. Society has told you that if you don't dress church of God. Watch it, watch it, watch it. So Psalm 91 says, I will set him on high. You shall be the head and not the tail. Come on church of God. He said, I will set him on high because what? He hath known my name. Watch it. Second down preacher. Now watch me. If you knew God's name. Uh, but if ever there is a time we live in a world that doesn't know God's name. It's now. Young and old, some of them are frowning on your idea, no need till they're away, they know. Still don't know God. And I'm not talking a knowledge of God in that you know the word, but I'm talking about your personal experience with him. And I often say some people have some ridiculous reasons why they don't serve God, and some ridiculous reasons why they don't serve God. And, I, and hear me, I, I say to people, especially to those who are atheists among me, I say to them, at the end of the day, what are we going to right? And what of us is going to be wrong? But even if me wrong, me not going to lose them. Think about it. Even if I'm wrong, even if there is no God, what have I lost? But if you're wrong, trouble dead. Trouble dead. If you're wrong, if you live all your life and don't serve God, and you're wrong, trouble. Trouble dead. So you want Psalm says. Hear what Psalm says, verse 15, he shall, he shall call upon him. When we call upon God, I will, uh, I will answer him, God says. I will be with him in trouble. Come on now, I don't know about you, but have you ever been in trouble? I don't know about you. I will deliver him and honor him. With long life will I satisfy him and show him my salvation. Look at your neighbor and say, we have hope for a time and a season such as this. Because hear me, there is coming a day when there will be no more sickness, church of God. No cancer, come on, can you imagine? A day when no doctor won't get our money. There will be no sickness, no COVID-19. No earthquake, because our hope is in Christ. We have a hope that there will be no tears. We have a hope that there will be no death. Oh death, where is thy sting? Oh grave, where is thy victory? A time church when there will be peace forevermore. Your neighbor won't trace you. Because if your neighbor trace the neighbor don't you know, go to heaven. Come on now. A time of peace. So I think, I, I, I want to end it here. I feel like I'm seven minutes. I have more, but I'm going to end it here. Because I think Vinette would be proud of this one. Because she, I, I, I think she, she tried.
tried her very best. She tried to epitomize this. She may have failed because we are both human. But I think she said it. Beloved, 1 John 4, 7. Let us love one. Let us. Let us love. Now, now here's the truth. Me and Vinetta no blood, but I tell you. I truly believe that Vinette loved me. And that's how she made me feel. Even when there were naysayers, Vinette never ever made me feel uncomfortable. So, 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 so where there is hope, church, we've, we've got to, if, if both as a nation, as a people, we could reach the place where we can just love people. If we, if we could follow Vinet's example and love, then, then Haddington would be a better place than, than our communities, than our country. And, 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 and Mr. Brown would have an easier job and Andrew would have an easier job or whomever. So let us, let us love one another. Watch this next verse, this next sentence for love is of God and everyone that loveth is born of God and knoweth God but I want to to make my point I want to read that said verse another way for you beloved let us love one another for love is of God and everyone that hateth is born of the devil and knoweth not For if God so loved us, we too must love each other. Because that is what is required of us. If we have not love, we have no hope. And I say this to everybody in the reach of my voice. It doesn't matter what you do. It doesn't matter if you live in this church building. If we have no love, we are a people without hope. We are a people who will be lost in the, in the deadliness of our sins if we have not love for each other. So I say, rest in the Lord and wait patiently for him. In all your troubles, in all your struggles, fret not thyself because of him who prepareth, who prospereth in his way, because of the man who bringeth wicked devices to pass. Cease from your anger and forsake wrath. Fret not thyself, church, and do no evil. Watch this, watch this, I'm closing. For evildoers shall be cut off. Check yourself. Look for your neighbor and say, check yourself. I don't know your business, but check yourself. I don't chat me, they chat to you, but check yourself. But those who wait upon the Lord, is there one who is willing to wait upon the Lord, shall inherit the earth. Finally, we have not an high priest which cannot be touched with a feeling of our infirmities, but was in all points tempted like as we are yet without sin. Let us therefore come boldly, church, unto the throne of grace, that we may obtain mercy and find grace to help in the time of need. God bless you. Hallelujah, what a word for a time like this. And I'm going to say, is there one willing to give himself over to the Lord? And though we are in a funeral service, but you know, you can go home today and die. But no, praise the Lord, you can have life and have it more abundantly. So if you want to give your life, let me see you raise your hand. And if not, we go on. Praise the Lord. A word, the word of God. If you hear his voice, order not your heart. Praise the Lord. God bless you. Um, I guess, Trudy, you want to...
You want to do something? Praise the Lord. Before the eulogy comes, I'm going to ask for that. Do you want to just show something here? Yeah? Praise the Lord, we thank God for such a word that speaks straight to our hearts today. Praise the Lord.
Praise him. Praise him. Praise the Lord. Sister Vinit is going to be missed by us all. Praise the Lord. I'm going to ask our Lady Clayton to come at this moment to read the eulogy. Praise the Lord. Bless the Lord. Worship the Lord. Bless the Lord. To our Apostle Ricketts, Bishop Erskine, Bishop Wright, Pastor Clark, and all the other ministers, Pastor Gillis and the form, I well wishers, family members, friends. Good afternoon. Here goes the eulogy for Carleen Monica Brown, affectionately called Vinette. Sister Brown, Sister Vinette, Sister Carleen, Church Muma. You can only have one mother, patient, kind, and true. No other friend in all the world will be the same to you. When other friends forsake you, to mother you will run. For all her loving kindness, she asks nothing in return. As we look upon her pictures, sweet memories we recall of a face so full of sunshine and a smile for one and all. For you were such a special mom with lots of love to share. And knowing you are no longer here, is very hard to bear. And though the grief will pass and time will help to heal the pain, somehow life without you, mom, will never be the same. In the latter part of the year 1959, a voice was heard, Newton, 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 are you ready for another child? The answer was resounding, yes, Lord. Yes, with the consent of my wife, Pearlene. Pearlene consented, and Newton was ready. She was conceived and was delivered on August 29, 1962. What a bundle of joy for Newton and Pearlene. Carlene Monica Brown came into the world. She was the fifth child of the union. She grew up to be a lovely young girl, and at the age of six, she went to Friendship all in school and later what further in primary school. After leaving school, she migrated to Kingston to live with her sister, Audrey, otherwise called Dorrit. While in Kingston, she worked at various places, one of which was a conference center. After about 20 years, she returned to live in New Mills, where she was born and grown. On her return, she was employed at different places. These places include Expo Security Company, River Mist at Great River Private, and also with Lawyer Clark at Archard Housing Scheme. Vinet was blessed with four beautiful children, Danisha, Jerome, Trudian, and Chanel, who gave her five grandchildren. While enjoying her life, Sister Brown realized that there was a missing ingredient, and so she accepted the Lord and was baptized on June 15, 1976. She was an ardent worshiper who was very active in church. She was appointed an usher and worked very hard in this capacity. She was always on task. She would ensure that all was taken care of. On Sabbaths, she would distribute water to the officiating ministers, the aged who could not manage who could not manage to go to the bathroom on their own. Sister Vinet was available to render assistance. Anything you need, check Sister Vinet, Church Muma. She would be there to your rescue. Sister Vinet could be seen at functions. Doing the ushering job she loved and enjoyed so much. She would be the first to read church on Sabbath morning, and also the first to be at any functions held at church. 
How do you think I was able to get a program of funerals that I was late or I did not attend? The early bird church mama catches all the world. Not only was Sister Vinette engaged in ushering, but she was a part of the praise and worship team at funerals. Supper lunchtime was always a happy time. We look forward to this time. If you were eating something you enjoyed, although you would have shared with Sister Vinette, she would eat what she got and quietly creeped up beside you. Then as you raised your hand to put the last bite to your mouth, it would be grabbed away. Then you would see Sister Vinette walking away, eating and laughing. You could not help but laugh. During testimony time at church, she would stand stammering away, then greeted the church, and then she would start singing the song entitled, Don't Let Me Leave Behind an Unfinished Task. This she would sing melodiously and then gave thanks to God. Sister Vinette likes to travel, and so she would be a part of trips going out, whether to other churches or to funerals. Once we were going on a trip to St. Anne, and persons were giving jokes. Then suddenly Sister Vinette shouted, Me hot! <laughs> Not realizing what was happening, the bus sped on, only to realize that Sister Vinette's hat had blown through the window. She stammered, but the words could hardly come out. The bus stopped, and someone ran to fetch Sister Vinette's hat. She enjoyed taking pictures, and so every move she moved, a picture was done. These pictures could be seen posted on her status, more so when she died, her daughters had more than pictures to be posted. As time went by, Sister Vinette started to look different and to lose weight, and several occasions prayer was made on her behalf, and visits made to her home as a time she was unable to attend church. As the days went by, she started getting worse, but she kept the faith. She was as cheerful as a lark. This moment she would be in pain, and the next moment she would be up giving thanks to God, laughing and giving jokes. One day at church during the lunch break, she took sick, and prayer was made on her behalf. Everyone's eyes were filled with tears, crying. Then suddenly Sister Vinette burst out. I saw when me dead on a ball. There was laughter again. Her condition started deteriorating. And she was admitted in Falmouth Hospital, where she spent a few weeks. She was out and back on track. After a week or more, she was readmitted in the hospital again. She was out again and was happy. There was never a dull moment during her sickness, as she was very cheerful, and she held her faith steadfast. On January 18, 2023, she woke up and had her usual crackers and tea. As she awaited her breakfast, which was being prepared by her daughter, Trudy. While she was in the kitchen, she heard her mom calling. So she rushed into her room. She was very low. So she quickly put her in the car and sped with her to the hospital. By the time she reached, she had succumbed to her pain. This isn't death I'm facing, but it's life evermore. It's not the end she's nearing. It is entering heaven's door. The way ahead is fairer than to its ever been before. For its glory, yes, its glory over yonder. This isn't death, it's glory. It isn't dark, it's light. It isn't stumbling or groping or even faith, it's sight. It isn't grief. It's having the last tears wiped away. It's sunrise. It's the morning of her eternal day. Sister Vinette is fondly remembered by her four children, 
Danisha, Jerome, Trudian, Chanel, her mother, Perlin Brown. Grandchildren, Daniel, Dana Shea, Jordan, Nathaniel, Nathan, and Gianni. Brothers, Miguel, Dalton, Junior, and Stephen. Sisters, Audrey, Bermalin, Seanet. Nieces, nephews, cousins, brothers-in-law, sisters-in-law, a host of other families and friends and church family. May her soul rest in peace and light perpetual shines on her path. God bless you. Bless the Lord. Bless the Lord. Hallelujah. At this moment, I'm going to ask you to stand while the family members be seated. And our Pastor Gillis will come to pray for the family at this moment. Please don't leave. Let's go ahead in reverence to the Lord. Eternal God and our Father, we thank you, mighty God, for this great day which you have given us. Lord, you have seen the bereaved family. Lord, you know the pain they bear. But mighty God, I pray this day that you may remind them that you are still a lily in the valley. I want you, Lord, to remind them that you are still a bridge over troubled water. Lord, I pray that you may continue to remind them, mighty God, that you are still their hope for tomorrow. Mighty God, those in the family that have not yet known you as Lord, I pray, mighty God, that you may help them to understand this day that death is a reality. That one day they too will be going down. I pray, mighty God, that you may remove the scales from their eyes that they can see you in your splendor that they can see you in your glory and come to know you as Lord before the time of too late. Build a fence around them, bind them in a car that cannot be broken and let your continual will be done in their lives. I pray God that you may continue, Lord, to provide for them. Continue to be their shield and butler. Lord, remind them when it seems like the sun wouldn't shine no more, you place a rainbow in the sky. Bless them, mighty God, and let your continual blessing be upon them. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. At this moment, the choir is going to sing this song. And those on the podium will march down first, followed by the family members. Choir. As I travel through the spirit. There is a friend who walks with me. We may safely through the sinking sand. It is a cross.
Thank you. 